Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have your yes or no pick a card of the week. I add this video every week to help you out with a question that you know you need a simple yes or no answer. If you're new, my name is Josie. I hope you consider subscribing. All my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my Etsy shops. The crystals in front of you, including those ones for your choices and much more. All the links will be there. I have a membership, Patreon, I do live readings, private readings. All my links are on the description for you. And today we have four options. Group one, it's with the Amethyst Pyramid. I'll bring close to you in case it helps you to make a decision. There are Amethyst crystals inside. Group two, it's the Laps Lazuli. Laps Lazuli crystals inside the pyramid. Group three, it's for yellow citrine. Citrine. And group four, it's red jasper. Red jasper, if it's calling your attention, it's for you. Or maybe you have different questions for different piles. I do have some cards here that are separated and of course, we'll always shuffle on camera with you as well. As always I say, go with your gut feeling. Your first choice is most likely the right one, but of course you can watch the full video and see which one resonates the most. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be in the description below. Take what is resonating, leave the rest behind, have fun as well. And I always set my intentions that your spirit guides will help you to take only what is resonating. Again, group one amethyst, two laps lazuli, three yellow citrine, four red jasper. Timestamp always on the first pinned comment in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hi, group one. If you chose the beautiful amethyst pyramid, Let's see here your cards and we're going to clarify with Tarot and Oracle. The signs point to yes. That would be a yes. And when, uh, yes, when you are ready. Okay, so your spirit guides could be helping you to get ready to manifest, resolve this. But what do we have here to understand why? Yes, here for positive or negative questions, group one. So what else do you need to know? We have Page of Pentacles. I like the Page of Pentacles as good news coming. It can be for your career, for even your love life, someone coming slowly, friendly, your way. But good news coming for something that you could have been putting your time, attention, energy on. And even if you didn't see the results yet, the guides could be asking you for patience. But something positive is coming. And a new direction for many of you. And again, when you see a signs point to yes, pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities, what their spirit guides are helping you here to take um, as a sign. And interestingly, you chose the amethyst, which really can be really connected with your, uh, I feel like the third eye, your intuition as well. If you have this crystal, it can help you to meditate. Or even if you just wanted to meditate on those lilac purple colors, it's going to be helpful for you to trust your intuition here. We also have the Queen of Cups and the Six of Wands. It's interesting because the Queen of Cups, this energy of trusting your intuition, like I was saying. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces can be you, someone you're dealing with, someone that could be very wise, advising you. But no doubt for you to step into the energy of the Queen of Cups. To be able to trust here what you want, what's best for you your intuition and be able to keep going because with the six of ones it is a celebration after the battles so if you are having some battles right now hard time not seeing the solution here or even if this is a yes for negative questions there is a celebration here after those battles recognition of your hard work you'll be able to celebrate and i feel like definitely the hard work that you put in your career finances your love life your healing your manifestation, your spirituality, your guides are preparing you for this celebration. Even if it's hard right now, it's helping you to learn a lesson. So pay attention to that. What else do you need to know? 
We do have happy changes and divine protection. Look at that. You do have changes here, Camille, but those are happy changes. Many times we are afraid of the changes, especially if you have signs pointing you. That is the yes. That's the direction there for you to manifest or resolve this. And you're still a bit afraid or hesitant. The guides are helping you to trust your intuition, trust the signs. You'll have a reason to celebrate here. We also have pause and recharge. You see, that's when you connect with your guides, your intuition. You don't need to rush into anything. And that's what the page of pentacles is showing here for you. You don't need to rush, but that is definitely an energy of knowing that you are protected, knowing to follow your intuition to the signs that are pointing you. This is the way for you to manifest or resolve the situation. Talk to that person, send that email, reach out, make the first move, whatever it may be. You know, say yes to something. You don't need to rush, but you can pause, recharge, especially for some of you that have been going through the battles. And then you know you can really trust how you feel and the direction or something that is coming your way. But I feel like yes, to manifest or resolve something, you can see here, pay attention to the signs. There is a reason to celebrate here. Do not be afraid of the changes because they are happy changes and you're protected along the way. That's what I have here for your group one. I hope this helps out or resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the courses in front of you, my own decks like these two and many others, all the links will be there. Like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. If you choose the beautiful Laps Lazuli, we have cards here, but I'll clarify with Tarot and Oracle. We have It Is Certain. Of course, yes. So, of course, yes, it is certain here for you to manifest, maybe resolve this. Maybe it's a yes for negative questions, but you have a yes for group two. It's interesting you chose the Lapse Lazuli here, which is connected with your throat chakra. It can be really connected for you to trust your confidence, giving you confidence here. It can be your guides helping you to really establish your confidence of communication, being able to speak your truth, to be honest with yourself, whoever's involved here. And the guides are saying yes. So what else you needed to know from the tarot? And I'll give oracle cards too you do have the sun which is definitely a yes card on the tarot for me and this energy of opening doors being able to trust your heart your intuition to really follow a path here that is resonating with your heart your fire passion and knowing that happiness is coming blessing blessings blessed time here i do feel like you have clarity with the sun to help you understand what they needed to know, what they needed to understand here that maybe was a bit hidden for you. Maybe you're asking about someone, about about an opportunity. So the guy just say yes, but anything else you need to know, communications here with the Laps Lazuli, I feel like you get that. So no doubt, yes, even the tarot confirmations, Emperor, Aries energies, for you to step into the power as well of the emperor, knowing that you can take the lead in the situation, you can make the first move, you can apply for that job, you can talk to that person, you may be asking about someone, can you talk to them? And this energy of the emperor can be the person that you're talking to or asking advice, can be someone in charge, can be a lot of fire energies. And the emperor is someone that is really focus here on manifesting, resolving what they want, the way they want. So I feel like your guides are really helping you to understand here what's best for you and not be afraid to lead, to step into your power too. So I feel like, yes, manifesting, resolving. And also, look at that, we have the Empress too. Emperor and Empress. So we do have counterparts. If you're asking about your love life, you do have counterparts, maybe soulmate, twin flames, energies. 
be able to balance things with the Empress, no doubt, the manifestation power. So you have the courage, the focus of the Emperor to manifest what you want here as well. So I really see this as no doubt yes. Of course it's a yes. It's certain for you to manifest or even resolve this. But the Empress here is a lot of self-love, self-care, taking care of the self. The pregnant uh, Empress is normally the picture that they choose because you manifest in miracles. You know, something that could be impossible right now. But in reality, you can step into your power. Abundance, blessings, financial blessings for sure. But what are you trying to bring into your reality? That maybe it was only a plan, an idea. Maybe your business, your own business, a side job, or a relationship that you want, or taking care of yourself, your manifestation power when it comes to your spirituality as well. What you're trying to bring here to you. Know that you can say yes to something. Depending on the question, of course, yes. If you're asking about someone too. So balancing things out when you see emperor and empress. But taking care of yourself before taking care of others. Is the energy of empress, self-love, self-care too. To manifest these miracles. What else do you need to know? We have flexibility and compromise. You see this energy of compromise with the universe. Don't settle for less than you deserve. Many times we wanted to manifest something. And you don't set our sights high or you feel like it has to be one way. When the universe is telling you, we can give you the sun, the blessing, energies of emperor and empress. So I feel like you really set your sights high here, depending on the situation, of course. So this flexibility compromise to manifest what you want or something even better. Because I feel like the universe has something big for you. Group two, of course, depends if your question. Just take the yes. But I feel like be flexible, have to some compromise here. Who else is involved in this situation? We also have a leap of faith. And really being able to trust the universe is taking care of you, of your needs, of this situation. Being able to take a leap of faith here on reaching out or making the first move. Just knowing that you have new beginnings in some ways, depending on your question that will require you to take this leap of faith and trust the universe. But just know that the universe is there taking care of you for sure. And we have healing and learning. You see here, healing, learning, learning about yourself, about others, evolving, growing. And I feel like a lesson here because it's some kind of new beginning for some of you too. Okay, again, take what is resonating, check on the pause if it's not. But I do feel like this is an energy of big manifestations, resolutions, blessings, feeling blessed, manifesting a blessed time, maybe after some hard times for some of you guys. So have that flexibility and compromise with the universe because everything is happening for a reason. Everything is happening for you, not to you. And being able to see here things unfolding, I feel like in a very, very positive way. Yes, to manifest a result for group two, no doubt. I'll leave with this group too. I hope this helps out or resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals in front of you, my own decks like this too and many others, all the links will be there. Like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group three. If you chose the yellow citrine pyramid, we start with the cards. Not possible. Don't count on it. And no. So it is a no for group three. But let's try to understand here. Maybe something that is not possible, at least not at the moment. Maybe it's time. Maybe no or not yet. But don't count on it. So it may be, it's not something that you can count that will definitely happen. So they get to say, no, not yet. Maybe not possible at the moment. So you may need to wait and have patience. But what else we need to know? So maybe it's a negative question as well. Positive, negative questions. Okay, we do have the Seven of Swords and the Death card. Okay. Seven of Swords can be a tricky energy. Can be someone hiding something from you. Maybe miscommunications or difficult to communicate with someone or opening this door 
or even applying for a job or whatever the situation. And death is a completion here of a phase that it can help you to manifest something better. You know, the death leaves a chance to close what's not serving anyway, to open a rebirth of something new. So if you need to just close this opportunity, just look into something else. So maybe it's a different job, a different opportunity. Maybe it's a different person. Do not be afraid of the transformation process and being able to even... I feel like manifest if it's something that you really want, but at the right time or when something is transformed or even someone is transformed or healed or this opportunity is really there for you or you're ready for something. So I feel like there is something that is in the transition moment at the, right now and there's a need to allow the opportunity here to see things unfolding and do not be afraid to close what's not serving. Especially with the Seven of Swords can be tricky energies, tricky people, tricky just environment. So be resourceful there to get all the information because the Swords is about your communications. So make sure you are really honest with yourself, whoever's involved there. Ask the right questions, get to know this person, get to know this job or this opportunity, whatever it may be. Take time here. To not rush here and be, I feel like regretting. And I would say no is a blessing to not settle for less than you deserve or not rush into something that you're going to be really unhappy in the future. And I feel like your guides are telling you just wait here, the transformation process, because there's some tricky situations right now that you need to know more and maybe more things, more information is coming to the surface for you. Yeah, five of swords as well. So five of swords can be, you know, sabotages, other people sabotaging, someone trying to stab you in the back. So depending on the question, of course, miscommunications for sure, but just trying to understand winning at all costs, that kind of thing. But being able to, I feel like with the swords, get clarity, information, communication, anything that you need to know more, I feel like all ask all the questions, take your time, do not rush into anything so you don't count on something that's not really there or not possible right now. So I feel like that's why the guys say no, or at least not yet. Depending on your question, what else you need to know? Learning through challenges. So it could be a challenging situation right now, but you have to ask yourself, what is my, um, I feel like, lesson? What do I need to know? What I'm not seeing here. Ask your guys so you can trust your intuition. You see, evolving and transforming. Yeah, the transformation of the death here. Things are evolving, transforming. And it can be you, can be someone you're dealing with, can be the situation. Things are evolving. So don't rush because you you may you still need to get all the information. Things are evolving. You don't know everything yet, or you don't know this person yet. So they get to just asking you. Take your time here. And also, yeah, take a new direction. You see, not being afraid of taking a new direction. And even if that is not exactly what you wanted to do right now, trust your intuition, ask your guides, because many times our intuition is already pointing us into the right direction, and we still don't want to take that direction. We know in our hearts we should, but we just don't want to. But ask yourself, why not? Is it fear or fear of starting again or having to go into a new direction that you don't know all the answers? And then get to say, take a new direction and get all the information. So I feel like everything is still evolving, transforming here. No or not yet. There's still some challenging situations. There's still lessons going on here. So I feel like the guys don't want you to count on something that's not there, depending on what it is. The question or it's not possible or it's just not no so again take what is resonating and i feel like after the death is a rebirth so it could be something completely new or new opportunity that you're not gonna be kicking yourself for not waiting you know and really manifesting what is best for you no or not yet positive or negative questions again there's always I feel like a rebirth after the transformation of the death card. So take your time here to allow all this new information coming and do not be afraid of a new direction. 
I'll leave you this group tree. I hope this helps out or resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals is in front of you. My own decks like these two and many others, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group four. If you chose the beautiful red jasper pyramid, yes or no, any question? Your cards are yes, definitely, absolutely, and it is guaranteed. Look at that. Yes for group four, no doubt. But I feel like positive, negative questions, your guides are telling you it's guaranteed. So maybe something you're trying to manifest, resolve as well. So yes, definitely. What else you needed to know with the tarot as well? And all the tarot and oracle answers. Positive, negative questions. What group four needs to know? The three of wands. The light at the end of the tunnel here. So if it has been difficult. Yeah, something good is coming. Page of cups here. And also four of wands. A celebration. And I feel like this energy of falling, things are falling to place here. See, three and four, a movement. So the three of wands, I feel like this energy of, you have made a decision, you're trying to manifest something, and you know the path that you need to go through, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So if you are going through the challenging situations or just going through the motions of manifesting, resolving these, maybe applying for jobs, studying, you're going through a transformation of yourself, or your relationship. Just know that it's a light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like your guides are giving you some kind of motivation. Seeing the light, seeing things progressing so you can keep going. And you can see here the page of cups is here. I see the page of cups not just for relationships. Yes, for sure, for new love, romance, uh, resetting a connection, some of falling in love. But also good news, this energy of starting something new that you know it's resonating with your heart, your intuition, this new journey as well, and being able to be really happy with starting anew. So something new coming that you're going to be really emotionally connected as well. And yes, it can be for connections, relationships, but also for jobs, offers, opportunities. Something that is coming as a new journey for you that you're happy. And you also have the four of one. So three and four, the movement to celebrate. Because you have the three, the light, the offer, and the celebration. Everything is falling into place now. Maybe you are celebrating. Maybe you're going to a party, a gathering. But there is an energy of falling in the signs as well. One, 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 one. Four of ones here, 11, 11. If you see repeated numbers, what are you doing? I always say, what are you doing the moment you see the signs? Are you talking to someone? Are you trying to apply for a job? Are you sending that message? Are you thinking about doing something, but you're just holding back? You see the sign, it's to point in you to do it, to say yes to something. But I really see a celebration here. And it can be a specific gathering celebration, but it can be as well because... You are celebrating that everything is falling into place. You're following the signs and you are manifesting or resolving this. What else we needed to know here? Group four. Anything else you needed to know? When you are ready, it will come. You see here? If you are trying to prepare yourself right now or if you have been working hard on yourself, on your healing, on your CV, to apply for jobs, on your studies, or your relationships, whatever you're doing, when you are ready, everything is falling into place here to get you ready to manifest or resolve this. If it's a yes for negative questions, you're getting ready to resolve this, to have that conversation, whatever it may be. Also have give time to time. You see, here, many times you wanted to manifest right now, it has to be this way, and you're going to say, follow the signs, everything's creating bases right now. The fraud ones are those bases to have strong pillars to hold you into this situation that you manifest and resolving. Give time to time. Trust the divine time. It's not always easy, but it's definitely worth it. 
next message your intuition is right okay so many of you guys like i say being sent guides synchronicities and the trust the intuition because you already know what's best for you and the signs are pointing there for you it is guaranteed absolutely yes definitely but you are getting ready many of you guys are maybe just about you know to turn that corner and manifest or resolve the situation getting ready right now following the synchronicities the signs the intuition something good is coming i see you celebrating manifesting resolving this no doubt a light at the end of the tunnel for group four yes to manifest or resolve something i'll leave with this group four i hope this helps out and resonates in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you if you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals in front of you, my own decks like these two and many others, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.